Welcome back to How This Mom Does It, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our back-to-school homeschool haul. If you're interested in seeing what we bought, stay tuned. This video is a little bit different for me. I don't typically do a lot of haul videos, but I do love back to school time. So I thought it would be fun to share with you some of the things that we bought for back to school time this year. I did go to Walmart and Target. I'm not a huge Walmart shopper, but I do like their selection for back to school. So I usually hit Walmart first and then Target. And I found some pretty good things at both places this year. So I'm really excited to show you what we got. A lot of these things are going to be our first day of school goodies that I give the kids. I kind of lay it all out and um, they come out and see in the morning what they got for the first day of school. It's kind of like Christmas and uh, it's really fun and they get all excited and um, it just makes the first day of school homeschooling a lot more fun. And then a lot of the other stuff at the bottom is are things that I'm going to be using this year. So I picked up some things that I knew would be harder to find later. So I'll go ahead and get into it and show you what we bought. I'm gonna go ahead and start with some of the things I picked up for myself. I picked up three of these uh, notebooks from Walmart and um, I do a lot of my planning on the computer, but I do like to have a few notebooks lying around just to jot down ideas and some different things. And I like the cute um, covers when I can find them. And typically during the school year, um, I usually don't really find much other than like the plain ones. So I picked up a couple just to have some. And this is a really cute one with a mermaid and it's got um, some glitter on it. So really cute. And then uh, this one says, I believe in mermaids. And this one says, good vibe tribe. So those I got at Walmart. I also picked up at Walmart one of these organizing stackers. And this I'll put my brads, paper clips and things like that. I was just looking for something a little bit different this year. I picked up one of these mesh magnetic cups. And I put this on our magnetic easel that the kids do a lot of their dry erase work on. And it, we use it to hold our pencil or our dry erase markers. And I might even put, because this will be our second one of these, I might even put um, some of the magnetic letters and things like that in one of these. I'm not sure yet, but um, we always tend to run out of space on the easel. So I thought that this would be good to have a second one. And I got this at Target. I went ahead and picked up one of these small one inch mini binders. So this is not a normal size binder. Um, it's one of the mini ones. And I picked up three of the packs of the mini sheet protectors. And I'm gonna be using this for our Classical Conversations timeline cards. And I showed those in my history video. So if you wanna see Story of the World Volume 2 and see the cards, I show that in that video. But that's, this is where I'm going to be storing those. So I picked those up. At Walmart and then also at Walmart I found these and I love these expanding files and I found that they're really hard to find during the year so I picked up two of them in the back to school section and they were only a few dollars so I was pretty happy about that and I typically use these for um, our personal business like taxes and things like that so I just like to have um, these around and we use them and they're really hard to find so I got two of those I picked up a new pair of scissors for me. I love scissors, I don't know why. Uh, but I got a new pair just because I saw them and they were cute. So that was my impulse item, was cute scissors for me. So I got that and that was at Walmart. And then I also picked up this five star, seven pocket customizable expanding file. And this I will use for our um, documents throughout the year for school, not necessarily curriculum, but uh, paperwork from our charter school, different clubs that we're in, um, schedules, things like that. Um, we'll all go in here and it is a zip pocket, which I liked. So I got that for myself to keep myself organized and that I got at Walmart. And then I lastly for myself, I picked up several of these um, document holders and they have one of those zip closures. And it's good for a few documents. Um, and I got these at Walmart as well. So that's what I picked up for myself. And now I'll go ahead and show you what so I got. I'll go ahead and start off with my daughter. Um, and I did get everything from Walmart and Target. 
and it was this week. So if you're looking for new things that are out there, I did pick these up this week. I got this um, LED book light from the Target Dollar Spot, and it was $5. And it does have this cute glitter on part of it. My daughter likes to read in bed at night, so I thought that she'd really like that. I picked up this lanyard set in the Target Dollar Spot, and it was $3. And the reason why I got the lanyard, and I got my son one too, and I'll show you his in just a minute. Um, I didn't get the kids new backpacks this year because their backpacks were still in good condition. That's a benefit of being a homeschooler. Um, but they do go to our charter school once a week for um, like the extra classes, um, music, things like that. Um, and they have to wear a lanyard when they're there. So I got them each new lanyards instead of backpacks this year. So I picked this one up for her when I saw that in the Target dollar spot. Which was $3 is pretty good because I usually um, have paid probably like 6 to $10 for a cute one in the past. So um, I picked up this pencil pouch. And I'll show you. It opens up to where it actually stands up. Which I thought was kind of different. I picked this up in, at Target. And this was just in the back to school section. I'm trying to open it one handed here. Um, but you can see how it opens and then you fold it down. So I thought that was kind of different. I hadn't seen that before. And they do have pencil um, boxes and they were in still good in good condition this year. So I went ahead and kept those and just got them new little travel pencil bags. So I got that at Target. I picked up in the Target dollar spot um, a new play pack for each of my kids. And my daughter got the Shopkins. And I use these in um, our restaurant bags. I have little goodie bags for the kids when we go to restaurants and different things that have crayons and little mini coloring books. Basically like a little travel kit. So I like to refill those from time to time. And I saw that they had Shopkins. So I picked that up to stick in our bag. I got several rulers. And you're probably thinking, why do you need that many rulers? For some reason, my kids lose rulers. I honestly don't know where they go in our house, but we've lost or broken almost every single ruler from last year. So this year I was determined to be prepared. <laughs> and they love these um, slap bracelet rulers. They roll up like this. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. There we go. Um, but they roll up like that. So, and these are almost impossible to find outside of back to school time. So when I see them, I pick up two. So that way if they lose it, they break it, whatever. Because they do... Um, they lose the, if they slap them against things a lot, they will kind of not roll up the same way. So I like to have a backup. And then I also picked up um, this one. It's a hard ruler. And I got this one because it matched the scissors. And I'll show you those in a minute, but it all matches. And then I picked up one of these flexi rulers. We got these last year and the kids loved them and they were really durable. They just lost them. So we picked... Um, picked up some new rulers. We don't lose anything else but rulers. I don't know what it is about rulers. So um, I picked up some rulers for her. I also got, oh, and these were all at uh, Walmart. So I got all of the rulers at Walmart. And then I picked up this scrunch mat. I got the or scrunch chart. It's the multiplication table. And we have the scrunch map of the world and it comes in a bag. And I really like that. The scrunch map in a bag, I believe, was around $10, and I think I got it on Amazon. This is from Target, and it was only, I believe, $4.99, but it does not come with a bag, so that is a difference. But, I mean, for 5 bucks, I can just they can just scrunch it up or fold it, so it's not a huge deal, but the, the scrunch maps like this don't have a bag, so that is a difference. But I got her multiplication, because we're going to be doing more multiplication this year. And then I got her a few uh, composition books. So we got this uh, Lisa Frank composition book and this kitty cat composition book. And I got those from Walmart. I also picked up some of these spiral bound notebooks. There's a unicorn. And there's Shopkins. Some more Shopkins. And these were all at Walmart. I got her a little personal planner. Um, we tried planners in the past and they weren't really a hit with her, but I thought she might like a little one to keep in her backpack just to give it a try again this year. And it was only, I believe, like around a dollar. And I got this at Walmart. And then I got two new folders, Kitty Cat and Donatello. We actually have some folders left over from last year and they don't really use a lot of folders. Um, 
because we homeschool, I usually keep all of our work in a work binder. But um, they do like to keep their art and things that they're working on in them. So I picked up a couple just to have them because folders are hard to get during the school year. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I got these cute scissors. And these matched the ruler I showed you earlier. So the ruler, the scissors, and the pencil sharpener all match. So I got those for my daughter, and I got these all at Walmart. I also picked up some new washable crayons. Each of my, kid gets a, each of my kids get a set. I got these uh, Silly Scent colored pencils, and then the Silly Scents markers. We have a lot of... Um, markers and twistable um, colored pencils and colored pencils I stocked up mid-year and so I just got a couple packs of fun things for them and for some reason crayons we just go through very quickly so I went ahead and got them each a new set of um, crayons and I got all of that at Walmart I picked up um, this fun little sticky stickum set at uh, the Target dollar spot and it was three dollars and that's just like a little fun extra. They they love little sticky notes, so I thought that would be fun. And then I also got her, because I thought these were kind of neat. I hadn't seen these before. And, and um, these are at Walmart, and they're color change scissors, which I thought were kind of cool. So I got her a set of color change scissors as well. And um, I normally keep scissors at home and then in their travel bags and things like that. So we usually have several pairs of scissors. This is a craft tray. So I found this in the Target dollar spot and it was $3. And my plan for this is to use it for things like kinetic sand, Play-Doh, also Legos. Um, so they each have their own Lego tray. I got my son one of these too. I'll show you in a minute what his looks like. Um, but when I saw these, I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I have like a rolled out mat kind, but I just have one. And this way each kid can have their own and these are pretty easily washed. So um, I got her one of those trays. And then I got a mini clipboard for the car. We have a full-size um, clipboard with storage for the car, but I thought it would be good to have a little mini one that she can just stick in her little side pocket. And then I picked up this backpack file with the customizable cover. And this will be for the kids. Let's see if I can undo it one-handed here. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. Um, this is for the kids' crafts, so when we are collecting all of our crafts and projects for the month, um, I can keep them all in one place, and then when we go to our meetings um, to turn in work and um, show what we've done, um, it's easy to just take and go. So each of my kids will get one of these this year. Since I have my son starting actual TK while he'll be turning in work, I thought I needed something a little different to, to store all of our projects. So that is what I got for my daughter. So now I'm going to show you what I got for my son. And basically he got pretty much the same things as my daughter. There's a few things that are different, but for the most part, they're just um, the equivalent item, just a different character or color. So my son also got a book light from Target. The pencil pouch that folds out that I showed you before, that was from Target. He got a lanyard set and he got cars and that was from Target. He got a color play pack, um, and his was Star Wars, and that was from Target. He got the addition, he got the scrunch chart, like my daughter got multiplication, he got addition, and that was from Target. He got several rulers as well. His uh, slap bracelet says Born to Rock, and it folds up the same way. So he got two of those, and those were from Walmart. He got one of the flexi rulers, and that was from Walmart. His um, hard ruler also matches his scissors. It does not match the pencil sharpener. They didn't have the matching pencil sharpener, but it does match the scissors, and I got that at Walmart. He got several composition books. These I actually got from Target. I found that Walmart had a better selection, for me at least at my stores, of the girl notebooks and composition books, and Target had a better selection of the boy-themed uh, um composition books and notebooks. So I ended up um, not really finding much for him at Walmart, so I put, picked these up at Target. I also got several of these notebooks. These I did get at, Wal um, these I did get at Walmart, I believe. Um, he got Mikey, 
a Cars themed one, and a Leonardo. And then he also got two uh, folders, Raphael and Michelangelo. He also got the pair of scissors that I showed you, a pack of crayons, the Silly Sip markers, and colored pencils. The pencil sharpener that did not match, I was sad about that, but um, I'm sure he'll still like this one. Also a pair of color change scissors. And then his little sticky note pack is Minions. He also got one of these trays in the Target dollar spot for $3. And then at Target, I also got him an orange binder. You can tell he likes Michelangelo. Um, and this will be his learning notebook where I keep basically like their anchor charts. My daughter already has one, so she didn't need one this year. So I went ahead and got um, one for him since he's um, doing more official school with us. So I wanted to make sure I had a binder for all of his anchor charts. And then he also got one of these little... Um, alphabet practice card set and these were in the dollar spot at Target. I actually got a few of these um, for my daughter in um, money and telling time and a, a, I think I got them maybe a couple weeks ago and she's already been using them and playing with them and my son thought it was really cool that she had them and he wanted one and I didn't have one for him. So I saw that they had the alphabet one so I went ahead and picked that up for him so he has one like his sister. And then I got him one of these mini um, clipboards for the car, like I got her. And then I also got him one of these expanding backpack files, like I showed you um, that my daughter got. So that is what I got my son. And now I'll show you some of the items that will be shared. Uh, down here at the bottom I have, and yes, this is another ruler, uh, but they only had one, and it was really cool, and i never seen this before. It kind of folds up into this kind of semi-cube and you can pop it out into a ruler which I thought was really cool I had never seen that before they only had one though um, and I liked it because you could even count by twos when it's all folded up it just was pretty cool if I'm there again I'll try and pick up another one but this I basically got all they had they only had one so we got this other ruler I got two packs of glue sticks from Walmart and this is just to kind of get us started I don't like to buy the bulk of our glue sticks during the regular time. I like to wait till the after back to school sale when everything starts going on sale, it's left over. There always tends to be lots of glue sticks that go on sale. So that's when I like to buy the bulk of my glue sticks for the year because this pack is not gonna last us. We go through tons of glue sticks, so. But this is just to kind of get me started. I got a pack of these Sharpie Gel. These are my favorite highlighters, they don't smear they don't bleed through the paper um, I love these and I found that they're kind of hard to find during the school year so when I saw these I picked up two I usually end up having to buy these on Amazon and they're a lot more expensive during the year I packed a uh, picked up a new set of sharpies for myself and I use these pretty much everywhere I use them on our little snack bags write their names on them all kinds of stuff so I picked up a couple a pack with different colors this time so um I can be a little more decorative when I'm doing some projects. I picked up a set of the Ticonderoga. These are my favorite kind of pencils. We are getting away from um, regular pencils and moving more to the mechanical. Uh, just, I, I'm tending to like those a little bit more. But I still got some Ticonderoga. My son's gonna be working on writing more and I know regular pencils are usually a little bit better when they're starting writing. And I do love the Ticonderoga, so I picked up those. And then I picked up a couple packs of, oh, and the Ticonderoga I got from Walmart, as well as the Sharpies, if I didn't say that. And then this set of mechanical pencils I got at Walmart. This set of mechanical pencils, which were a little bit different. I picked these up because they were kind of cool, so I thought we'd give these a try. And I got these at Target. And then I got these um, pencil grips from Walmart. I thought we might try these out and see how the kids like them. And then I got a couple of fun items. I got these in the dollar spot at Target. These are more for my son, but I'm sure my daughter would love doing it with him. She likes anything that's hands-on. Um, and I really got them for the cards. So you can mold these shapes into, um, the, into the shapes of the letters. And I also got the numbers. 
but you can use these with like wiki sticks and um, anything like kinetic sand, um, all kinds of stuff you can use to make the shapes. But the cards, I didn't have any of the cards. So I wanted those and when I looked for the um, shape, uh, the create a shape kind of cards online, they're a little more expensive. And these were only $3 in the Target dollar spot. So I thought that was kind of neat. And we could use them with different, um, different types of manipulatives that I have. And then I got the letter, the, the number one as well as the letters. And then I also picked up this in the Target dollar spot. And it was the number and shape sequence puzzle. And I like this one. I hadn't seen this kind before. I usually pick up tons of this type of stuff in the Target dollar spot. But I actually have so much of it. I didn't really want to get a lot this year. I'm pretty good. Our TK basket is full of manipulatives and little games and that kind of stuff. But this one was different. I hadn't seen this before. And I like that it showed the different ways to make one, the different numbers. So it shows one written as a number, as a tally mark, written in letters, and then um, in like a block. So, and then it has um, shapes too. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I picked that up and that was only... I think that was a dollar. Yeah, it was a dollar. And then at Walmart, and in back to school time, they usually have these. And I have a couple different ones. I had the gumball game and the little sandwich blend game. And I hadn't seen this one uh, before. And this is a Word Family ice cream game. So I went ahead and picked this up. And I pretty much have only seen these in back to school time. But they usually have a couple different varieties of these. And... Um, they're just a fun little game. They have all the game pieces and it's got a little zip top so it makes them easy to store. So I got one of those for the kids. And then in the Target dollar spot, I saw this USA map puzzle. So I got this just for fun. Um, we have some other puzzles, but I don't really have a good USA map puzzle. So when I saw this and it was only $3. So I went ahead and picked that up for a fun um, first day of school little game for them. And a few other things. I got this tote bag. And let me see if I can one hand it here. Um, really cute little tote bag. And it was $3 in the Target dollar spot. And uh, they had a couple different kinds. I like this one because it was a little more plain. And um, I think the other one had an apple or something on it. Um, but I thought this was kind of cute, and I plan to use this for our book bag to take um, when we go places to put our books and stuff in. Not like our road school bag, but just like a couple books in the car when we're going somewhere, something like that. Or their tablets if we're taking, um, going somewhere, that type of thing. So just a little tiny tote bag to take with us. And then I uh, lastly, I got this um, this little jar. It's like a ceramic jar, and it was $3.00. And I just thought it was really cool, so I picked it up. So that was an impulse item, but um, I may use this uh, for a gift or something. So very cool, and I picked that up. And that is what I got that was going to be And shared. that is my back-to-school homeschool haul for Walmart and Target. I had a lot of fun making this video for you guys. Uh, I really love back-to-school shopping and school supplies, if you can tell. If you're interested in seeing more about what we're going to be doing this school year, you can check out my curriculum videos that I have posted and be on the lookout for some planning videos and some other fun videos I have coming up. I hope you like this video, and if you do, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.